Good to have you here. How are you, buddy? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Mom.
morning. We also have four people watching, so that helps. Four people watching. Gary says not only are we videoing, he says we have five, five. We have five people watching us now. All right, so we are just overflowing. Uh, no, it's just easy. Uh, come on. No, we don't want to embarrass you or anything. Starts at 10. Today. Starts at uh, 10. No, we appreciate everybody coming. I'm going to tell you a good news. I want to personally uh, thank Michelle Yardley uh, for coming in. Uh, she's in uh, going to school and seminary, which she probably told you about. And we are so uh, proud of her for going through that. Also, last week, she read a poem, and uh, there's been a number of people that have asked her, have asked us, uh, that they could have a copy of that poem. And it's in the back, Sandy's holding it up right now, um, and if you want a copy of that poem, it's, a, it's wonderful, um, let's please pick up a copy. If you run out of copies, we'll wait to see more. Okay? All right. Um, is there any other announcements? We're glad our choir is here today. Yay. So again, thank you, Michelle, uh, for everything you did for us last week, and thank you, congregation. Well, like I said, uh, 1776, they signed the uh, Declaration of Independence. And they started founding the country before that. And every July 4th, or weekend there around, we want to celebrate. But we should celebrate our country uh, so much. Uh, and each one of those men and their families put Christ in this country. They made it a point uh, to put Christ in this country. Uh, just kind of a little tidbit that I found out a number of years ago. The biggest denomination, the number of the all people signed back to Russia and independence that were there, uh, their denomination was Presbyterian. Now, which didn't mean anything unless you put Christ in it. So we want to be thankful for all that we have. Let's come to the Lord. You open up your Bibles. Let's begin in prayer. Father God, we give you thanks for everything you give us each and every day. And we thank you for this day. And we thank you for our country, Lord. Let us continue to put God and country into our lives each and every day. So as we go forth this day, let us put God in our lives. And let us not just do it on Sunday, but each and every day. But let us celebrate this day in your honor and your name. Amen. Amen. Well, if you please follow along with me. Oh God, you are my God. My God. So oh, oh God, you are my God. Uh, now, earnestly, I will see you. 
My soul thirsts for you. As you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. But that past life is better than life. I will bless you as long as I live. In your, in your name, name, I will lift up my hands. Well, let's turn back your bulletin and let us say, let the name of the Lord be praised. Father God, we come to you today, and we are truly sorry for the sin that we have committed. Father, give us the strength so that we might go forth, proclaiming your word, and telling others that their sins are forgiven in Jesus Christ. Let him be their guide and their leader in life. This day and every day, and we are truly sorry for our sins, and we proclaim that to Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven.
There's many in, in this town. There's many in other towns. And they won't listen to the word of God. Be nice to them. Talk to them. But you are, right here, every one of you, have been given a job to do. Proclaiming the word of God. Going out to others. Teaching them the word of God. You don't have to know everything. I, I know guys that they're taught me in seminary. They've got two or three. One has three doctorates. Three! And he would tell you this. He would tell you how much he didn't know. And he's just starting to find out. It's not how much we know, it's how much love we have for Jesus Christ. How much Christ can come to others. How much their lives can be so much better. Even our lives can do so much better. Not just talking about it, but believing it and going out and proclaiming the word of God. You don't have to be a superstar. You can invite them into church. You can invite them to, to know the Word of God and read Scripture. They don't have to become an a all-powerful preacher. Why are you laughing? <laughs> but going out and proclaiming God's Word, and then ourselves, we believe it. Walk the walk. And talk the talk. Proclaiming God's word. You are disciples of Christ. Each and every one that has heard his word is the disciples of Christ. But we have to believe. We have to walk the walk. And we have to go out and proclaim his word. Most of the time, how we proclaim the word is, is just telling how much Christ has been and has done in our lives. We all make mistakes. We are, we are Jesus Christ. We'll never be. But we can work up to that by following him, listening to him, and doing his work. I'm so much better off in my life about knowing Christ and living that each and every day. I have to learn it and do it. Every morning I wake up and I thank God for everything I have. Honestly and truthfully. Before my feet hit the ground, thank you, Lord. Help me this day and help me become your disciple and continue to spread his word. It might be just a smile of being nice to somebody and being there for them. We don't have all the answers. But we know people that might have the answers. And that person is one. Jesus Christ. He was a carpenter. He was an everyday man. He didn't dress up and fly around and have fancy cars. He told his disciples, go out, take nothing with you. Don't even take two tunics. Let people just see you, who you truly are. That's what that means. Who you truly are. Disciples of Christ. It's not how we appear. It's <coughs> what we do. And what do we do? We proclaim the word of God. You all, everyone here, is in ministry. Yeah? You're all in ministry. Because your job as disciples, again, is to proclaim the word of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Sermon 2. <coughs>
will turn in your hand notes to 440. So send I you. Father, as we come before you, please hear our prayers. But Father, we come and ask special prayers for Sue's brother, Joe. You put your healing hand upon him and strengthen him. We ask you to be with Ruth St. John. Continue to bless her and be with her, Father. And strengthen and keep Christ in James Adams' life. We ask you to be with Parker Pawlty, Father. Bless him. Be with him. We are so thankful and ask you to continue to bless and be with Lord Gregerson. And put your healing hand upon her and her hand. We ask you to be with Walker or Amber Lee and Walker Webb, Father. We ask you to continue to be with Jeannie Anderson and bless and be with Viola Elliott. And we thank you 
the love and thanksgiving and blessings of Hank and Jeannie Manders. As we come before you, Father, let us be thankful for all that you give us as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. As we come before our Lord today, let us be thankful for all that God gives us, for the blessings that he gives us. But let us continue to be strengthened so that this church might continue to grow by spreading his word. Let us give back to Christ, which he has given to us.